Video games started yesterday. Just kidding. Today, GameRanks wants to bring you 10 historical video game facts you probably didn't know. Number 10. The first video game tournament took place in 1972. The game the people competed with was Space War, a game written in 1962. Space War was really simplistic, and on October 19th, 1972, 24 people orchestrated a tournament that culminated in a free subscription to Rolling Stone, who, by the way, who also sponsored the event as well as covered it in its magazine. The article was kind of funny, actually. It said, quote, Reliably, at any nighttime moment, in North America, hundreds of computer technicians are effectively out of their bodies, locked in life-or-death space combat computer projected onto cathode ray tube display screens, ruining their eyes for hours at a time. Number 9. The first console game that required dual analog sticks was on the PS1. It required the DualShock controller. It was a first-party title developed by Sony called Ape Escape. A little ways into the creation of the game, the team attended a development meeting at Sony. The meeting was about the controller and they were very intrigued. So they developed a control scheme where the character was controlled by the left stick and the various gadgets in it were controlled by the right. The game was pretty much universally praised by critics too, which is not something that normally happens when a new technology is implemented. And it helped to popularize a controller that looked kind of weird. We were all kind of used to D-pads at the time and, well, we needed something that really showed us why we needed something else. Ape Escape was definitely that. Number 8. The very first video game system patented to work on a CRT display was a very simple game that Thomas T. Goldsmith Jr. and Estelle Ray Mann designed and patented in 1947. It wasn't exactly a video game per se, but it did use a CRT screen in a manner where it showed a dot where a missile that was being fired was. Now, it couldn't actually draw graphics beyond that, and you had to put a paper overlay on the screen to represent where targets were, but it's still pretty crazy to think that the ancestor to all video games is probably this. A little dot on a goofy circular screen inside a massive box that used knobs. Number 7. The Game Boy is actually the first video game to be played in space. In 1993, Alexander A. Serebrov, a Russian cosmonaut, appropriately brought the game Tetris which is of Russian origin. The first computer game to be played in space was StarCraft, and it was played in 1999, orbiting the Earth, by Daniel T. Barry. Number 6. Mortal Kombat was the first game to be rated mature in any fashion. Now, it certainly wasn't the most adult game ever released at the point that it was released, but it was the one that gained the most attention. The controversy that ensued over Mortal Kombat actually paved the way for the ESRB, the Entertainment Software Rating Board, to be created to function as sort of an MPAA for the video game industry. In fact, after the release of Mortal Kombat, there was pretty much a non-stop argument in all facets of everything about Mortal Kombat, which resulted in Mortal Kombat 2 being the first game to surpass Hollywood box office sales. Hopefully, that makes people reconsider the idea of giving attention to things that they don't think should get attention. Also, I loved Mortal Kombat. Number 4. Fallout 2 was the very first game to feature same-sex marriage. Now, at this point in the world, that doesn't seem like that big of a deal. On account, we have games that pretty much allow you to marry whoever the heck you want, regardless of who you are, that are pretty mainstream. Bioware comes to mind. But 18 years ago, when Fallout 2 came out, in the 90s, people still kind of had that ew, gross opinion on it. And to be fair, there's more than a few people that still have that. But it's kind of hard to imagine that such a popular game, and Fallout 2 was a rather popular game, played no role at all in helping to normalize that. Number 4. The first mainstream game to feature multiple canonical endings, depending on how you play the game, was Castlevania II Simon's Quest on the NES. Now, it's important to mention that is absolutely not the first, just the first mainstream AAA release, and Metroid, yes, is a popular slash mainstream game and technically had different endings, but really it was kind of just somebody being a little bit more undressed. And I've seen this misreported a couple of times as the first game to have multiple canonical endings, which just flat out isn't the truth. And there's a shitload of old games that have different endings, like Faria and any Infocom interactive book. But Castlevania II Simon's Quest did help to popularize the idea which is something that significantly improved replay value 
of video games, especially if the endings depended on different styles of play. Also, I just want to say this, Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest kicks ass. Number 3, the first video game console began development in 1966. In 1972, the Magnavox Odyssey came out and blew everyone away by rendering three square dots on a monochrome black and white, two color, whatever you want to call it, screen that could act differently depending on what kind of game you were playing. Much like the 1947 video game system we talked about earlier, it used overlays that you'd mounted onto the screen or taped to the screen or stuck to the screen in some way, and had a very, very primitive looking controller. It cost $99, which if you index that for inflation would be $560 today. Number two, the very first Easter egg in a video game happened in 1979's Adventure, which is basically meant to be a visual version of a text adventure game. There's a room in the game that contains words that say created by Warren Robinette, who happened to be the designer of the game. I don't think too many people would play something like that in a game with some name that didn't actually have something to do with it, but it started a long tradition of inserting things into games that you maybe wouldn't expect and can't always find. And number one, the very first 3D game, and by 3D game I mean use two different images projected to both of your eyes to give a stereoscopic 3D effect, was Subrock 3D, a 1982 Sega game. You're a modified submarine and you're protecting the Earth from UFOs with a targeting mechanism with a rotating disc in it that simulated the 3D. The game itself seems like nothing special, but if you were to see it in 1982, to put your eyes up to something and have a full color 3D image projected into your brain. I and mean, that's pretty amazing actually. Also, how far have we come? Looking at the Oculus Rift and the PSVR and all of the things that are happening with that, quite a ways. Did this harken you back to the time of yore in video games? Why don't you share some memories in the comments with us, or even just let us know which of these historical facts you enjoyed the most. Speaking of enjoyment, if you did like this video, please click the button that reflects it. It helps us a great deal. And if you're not subscribed, now's a great time to do so. We upload brand new videos every single day of the week, and the best way to see them first is, of course, a subscription. As always, we thank you very much for watching this video. I'm Falcon. You can follow me on Twitter, at FalconTheHero. And we will see you next time, right here on GameRanks.